Hey guys, welcome to the video. So I'm going to answer a question that was put to me by somebody in my mentorship program about whether you should use a website template or build a site from scratch or use WordPress for a client. So let me just jump into the email. Evening, Uncle Steph. I hope your weekend went well. I wanted to say thanks again for allowing me to be a part of your mentorship program. I'm working my way through the CSS3 Pro course now. And I'm excited to report that I've landed my first freelance client and would greatly appreciate any advice or suggestion I could get as far as should I code the website from scratch or should I go with a template or perhaps a CMS like WordPress. My client is an independent pharmacy that currently has a landing page. That's it. I insisted I'd be happy to do the website for free, but the owner would still like to pay me a small amount, nothing crazy. And if satisfied with the end result, he has agreed to give me positive feedback in the local community and online. See, this is the whole point of the, the strategy. So one of the problems people face these days getting into code and are new to code is that the job market's a little tighter than it used to be. I'm recording this in July 2023. This will pass, by the way, if you're watching this now. But nonetheless, so how do noobs, how do beginners get their first job when a lot of jobs out there are looking for experience. Well, you do that through this strategy here, which I have people do. You go out and you do a few free freelance client, uh, freelance jobs. It could be building a website from scratch, whatnot. Anyway, that whole strategy is something that we have uh, in the mentoring program. And it works well because you get real world experience. And when you have real world experience, your chances of landing a job increases by huge amounts. So he says, I just wanted to get a second opinion on whether to code the site from scratch, use a free template or a CMS like WordPress. So that comes down to a few things. Number one, with the templates, typically you could save a lot of time, but you have to be sure that the template that you choose aligns fairly well with the goals of the site owner will be. So, if you get a template and it's very, and you end up having to rip it apart and do tons and tons of changes, it might not save you a lot of time in that situation. You also have to evaluate the template. Some templates are better built than others, so read reviews. Sometimes it might be better to pay 40, 50 bucks to get a template That's where you can get support from the template uh, manufacturer, for lack of better words. So you gotta evaluate the template. One of the things that you do as a freelancer, you start to understand the landscape, what your tools are. And templates are your tools. Uh, content management systems like WordPress or Drupal, uh, and there are others out there, they're also your tools. So as you get more experience, you understand these different products are out there, how useful they are, when they make sense to use them or not. In terms of the content management system, a CMS like WordPress or not, it depends. Is the site going to be changed often? Are they going to add new pages, have to update things on a re every so often on a regular basis? If so, then a definitely a content management system makes sense. WordPress is the most popular by far, but it has its problems. But there's others out there like Joomla and Drupal, and there's others. I think Craft CMS is kind of rising up nowadays. Anyhow, so use a template or not, make sure that the template, the style and the structure is pretty much is close to what the client wants. Make sure the template code is clean. Maybe make sense to get a, a template that's commercial, where you pay 30 bucks or 40 bucks, whatever it is, just to get that support. How do you know if you get support? Check, check the reviews, see if there's, their support requests are uh, timely, et cetera. There are lots of free templates that are very useful. You could leverage a, a framework like Bootstrap, for example, just to set up, quickly set up the structure for a site. That's also an option as well. One reason to use a template is because your design challenge, your front end skills are not the greatest. Developing from scratch gives you the maximum flexibility, but it takes the most time mostly. On the other hand, if the site is really simple, you know, there's just some images, a few paragraphs, etc. cetera. Um, yeah, I would just, you know, break out Bootstrap or, or whatever, Tailwind, I think is another one that competes with that. These are layout libraries and frameworks. And then, you know, put something together really, really quickly that way. So uh, I hope that helps. As with everything else in development, it depends on the circumstances, whether you use this tech or not use that tech. Keep this one principle in mind. You always want to try to keep things as simple as possible. 
and you don't want to build out or implement technologies for some potential future project. So the big example I like to make is people will set up their first apps, their first web apps, and they'll be all worried about how well it will scale and whether it can handle millions of users. This is not a problem you should even think about at all. Don't think about it at all because chances are that the project will not have millions and millions of users or you're going to need huge scale. You know, build for what you need now, get it out now with being slightly mindful of what you may need six months from now in the project, but certainly don't assume that uh, you're going to need some uh, extraordinary implementation, some extraordinary features added to the system six months from now. The things that are extraordinary don't happen very often. That's why they're extraordinary. I hope that makes sense. My name is Steph. Some people call me Uncle Steph. I do have a boot camp mentoring program. Uh, you can check it out. I also have uh, courses that you can uh, learn on your own with. All right. All the links will be below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.